Nigel, Dr. Mick Zace has served only one term as state superintendent of education in this state, and in those four years, he ruffled a few feathers. From the time he was elected, state superintendent Mick Zace challenged the status quo. We don't pay our best teachers nearly enough, and we pay our worst teachers far too much. He was in favor of paying teachers based on their performance and tried to persuade lawmakers to dump Common Core. He was also an advocate for private school vouchers and turned down nearly $200 million in federal race to the top grants, saying schools need less, not more federal intrusion. Now Zace may be headed to Washington, which the Palmetto State Teachers Association calls unfortunate. We had a hard four years when Dr. Zace was superintendent of education. He uh, did not work well with any of the education associations, um, and that's very unfortunate. Uh, in fact, we saw teacher morale at its lowest during that time. I did not give any sixes. But not everyone is a critic. During Zace's tenure, the number of charter schools in this state increased 78 percent, pleasing those who had different ideas about education. Dr. Zace was really look forward thinking and looking at how we can move South Carolina uh, into, uh, uh, you know, uh, higher performing and uh, I say career and college ready. Now his ideas, while controversial, may be headed to a much larger stage. If confirmed, Zace would work directly under Betsy DeVos, and he has more experience than her. Zace has 15 years of education experience, while DeVos has never worked in education. Nigel? Tim, thank you very much.